Well, I'm here at the Scotsman uh, Place in the World conference. Uh, today I'm uh, publishing the Scottish Government's International Framework document. It was last produced in 2008. Of course, the times have moved on. We've now had the Edinburgh Agreement that's setting us on our constitutional journey for a referendum for independence for Scotland. And obviously the economic climate has changed as well. But we have great assets in Scotland and that is why in the International Framework we're setting out how Scotland can compete, how we can contribute to the world and to make sure that all all the wonderful assets, our resources, our people, our talent can be used to best effect on the world stage. Uh, we have very good and positive international um, arrangements in and also initiatives that, uh, across the world, whether it's on climate justice, uh, whether it's on economic and exports. Uh, there's a lot going for Scotland already. We're uh, reckoned to be the best in the United Kingdom for attracting inward investment from the Ernst & Young study, but also in terms of our cultural contribution. Uh, only yesterday I announced that the Sydney Opera House would be the next in the Scottish Digital 10 heritage documentation. But in terms of our trade, in terms of our cultural ties, in terms of, of our, our international relationships, Scotland is very well placed. And on the journey to independence, we will continue to work, we'll continue to make sure that Scotland's interests are best presented. We will argue that they will be best presented in independent Scotland, but whatever the constitutional arrangement, we have a responsibility as a government and we'll continue to always have a responsibility to serve the economic, cultural and international needs of Scotland.